Okay, let's do another hypermesh core tutorial. We're going to take this solid model here and we're going to cut it with some planes and put some holes in, etc. So if we look at this model first and I try to select a solid, nothing selectable because it's not a solid yet. So we're going to go under solids, select this right here, which is bounding surfaces, and then pick a surface. It gets all of them create down here in the bottom left it'll say one solids created okay so let's put a cylindrical hole through here so we're going to create another solid cylinder bottom center will locate there another node for the normal vector we take let's see rotate it a bit that point there center is this now the height can be anything you want use 25 if you want anything just long enough to go through in fact let's put it back to to some big number here and create it there it is and it goes all the way through and there it is you can see the cylinder goes all the way through so now what we want to do is make the hole by subtracting it and that's how we make holes so we'll go under solid edit we can pick boolean and we'll do a minus b so our a is this solid what we're going to subtract the b is the cylinder hit calculate and there it is if we look through right to there so that's pretty cool now let's go and take our model and cut it using solid edit and some different different ways of doing it. We're going to do three or four different ways just to show you how it works. So first one to do is cut it with lines so, and we're going to use bounding lines. So this, oops, and our solid is selected which is all of it and our bounding lines we're going to choose are these four there and we'll basically cut this little section and trim that. So there's our plane and that's all done like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, now if we go over to view number one, right click on view one and hit show and that'll show this side of it here. I'm going to go back into solid edit and we're going to trim with lines still and we're going to drag a couple cut lines here. So solid we're going to choose is this end one and we're going to drag a cut line so left click somewhere out here you can see that faint line and kind of horizontal left click and then middle click and there's a cut line or a trim line that's pretty cool now we're going to do that again the solid let's just do this lower part and we cut this in two we're going to drag a cut line and we're going to do it vertically. So let's go from, say, here, left click here, middle click. So there, that's sliced. We got one more. Let's go over to right click. We're going to go over to view two, right click, and hit show. Okay, and there's this model here. And we're going to do another cut line. So the solid we want is this one drag a cut line left click somewhere in here left click middle click so that's pretty cool okay so now we've taken this solid end piece and we've cut it up into little bits here let's go back to solid edit and we can merge so now what we want to do is merge all these solids except maybe this little box up there. So we hit merge and then you've got all these are one solid and you've got this as a separate little solid right in here. All right, let's just go back to view three. Okay, and that's our main view up here. And we're gonna do a couple other little things in here and show you some more ways to trim this. Okay, now we're going to cut the model with a user-defined plane. So back to solid, edit, trim with a plane, 
and we're going to pick our main solid here. We've got our choices down here. We're going to go with this N1, N2. Now, if we look in here, we can actually use these nodes that exist right on here, or we can left click and hold until it goes white like that, and then we can pick a node, left click and hold, pick a node there and there. We can do that and that'll define a plane. Let's delete all those. We can also, it's just as easy, pick that node, that node, and that node. As long as they're non-linear, non-collinear ones, we can do that. So there, that's trimmed up just like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's do another cutting operation under solid edit and we're going to go in here and we're going to trim with lines and we're going to do with sweep lines so we're going to trim activate solid this solid here and the lines we're going to trim with are that one and that one there we want to trim off this way which is in the x direction and sweep all is activated and trim. So you can see how the trim went all the way through there. Pretty neat. Okay, so let's continue with this and we'll do another trimming operation just to get practice with it. So we're going to trim now with planes and let's do that. So the solid we want to trim is this one. You select that instead of picking our plane as we did before we're gonna go and pick the, the Z axis okay so what we've done by the Z axis I what I mean by that is it's going to be the axis is the plane is that's normal is along this Z axis here so it'll be parallel to these faces here so all we need to do is go in here and select a base for it so anywhere basically along which where or the position along here so anywhere along this line right in here so if we left click and hold till we get that white line in the box now we can pick anywhere on there that's for our B and trim so there's another trim plane using the system axis. So let's hit return, go back to my normal view, and let's get ready and do the next part. Okay, from this main view here, let's rotate, and we want to again get some practice. And that's all this is about: trimming with different, trimming solids with different planes and surfaces. So now let's trim off this in here. So if we go to solid edit, we can trim with surfaces. The only problem is we don't have a surface in here yet. So I can pick this solid under surfaces. I have one there and there, but I don't have this interior one. So let's hit return. And we're going to go under here on surfaces. And we're going to select lines here. And we'll clear out keep tangency and let's zoom in select these lines and create there's a surface now we have a surface we can go back to solid edit choose that as a solid choose that as our surface right there make sure extend trimmer is not on or it'll make a bit of a mess and trim so there's that one done we can also go under here and let's try to do this again we got this solid we want to trim with well again I don't have that interior surface so let's go under surfaces and we'll pick these four edges there create now we have a surface to trim with solid edit this solid with this Oops, with uh, 
that surface. Trim. Okay, so now we've trimmed them up. It's only about one thing left that we want to do. Edge edit and we just want to take and suppress some of these lines that are here on the side. All right, just moving this around here. So when we do this, we can choose the lines. We can do them, you know, one at a time like that, or we can also do them by geometry and then pick our solids. So we want this solid and this solid and this one back here and suppress all those lines on those solids all at once. So that's our tutorial on cutting solids, creating solids, editing solids. Hopefully you found something in there that was handy.